Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back with another video unboxing for you guys. I know it is a little bit of an outdated sneaker by now, but I had the opportunity to get one on a restock, so I just bought it. So I think I got it now three or maybe four weeks after the initial release. So that's why I'm so late with this video. But for me, it's still a new sneaker. I didn't, I didn't went for it on the initial release i don't know why but i didn't do it i only uh, applied for one raffle or entered one raffle i immediately had a had a w and because it was so easy i just left it uh, i don't know but i also don't regret it but that's the reason why i didn't went for it but, as you can see, it is a Yeezy. It is a 350 Yeezy. And it is the uh, Zion. The the color code is also named Zion. It's a 46 to 3rd, so basically 46 and a half. Let me check how the sneakers are. Um, 46 to 3rd, yes, it's okay. Um, so like I said earlier, I didn't uh, I went for these sneakers because I didn't saw a lot of hype around these. Um, I saw the first uh, official photos of Yeezy slash Adidas. And at, when I saw those photos, I wasn't impressed about it. When I, but when I saw them on feet, I was like, these are, these are fire. Like, if you, if you see them on feet, like, it isn't as dark as they were on the in initial photos, but if you see them in person, they are really clean. It's, it's a really clean sneaker, like it's more of a light brown instead of dark brown. I would have expected that the whole sneaker would have been like this, like this uh, part of brown over through the whole the sneaker, but it was more like this, like more uh, sand color. And, and I saw them um, with some, at some people on their feet and I was like, these are mad low. These are mad uh, nice. I like, they surprised me. I think, um, I'm not sure exactly what was the previous 350 release. I think it was in the beginning of the Corona. And then I would say, the Yeezy Cinders 350 because I haven't seen 350s in a bit but these I think these were the were the first one after those three, uh, 350 Cinders so I wasn't really uh, I didn't really know what I had to think about 350 but the model is still I think it's still the best model that Yeezy has and for sure it's still the best a model that tells a lot and they really surprised me with these ones but wait, wait i'm not sure maybe there was a yeezy supply exclusive 350 in between the cinders and the science but i don't know exactly sure but if it was a yeezy exclusive then they for sure didn't uh, drop uh, in the eu so that's why i'm not really sure what was the previous 350 model but these are mad fine, like, um, as you know, it's a 46 and a half, so they aren't in my size, am I, uh, I think it, I could probably rock these, like, if I would have, have had them in my own size, I would have, I would just would stop them a couple of weeks and then I would see what I would do, but I would sure doubting about if I should keep them or not but as you can see the uh, 350 uh, or 350 this stripe this uh, see-through stripe 
normally, uh, well normally, on the previous 350s, it was saying uh, the, uh, the abbreviation of supply 350. Now, so this is really dark, and because it's a bigger sneaker than I normally have, you can really see, um, or I can really see the, the toe part with the holes in it. And there's no U tap on it, but I don't know if the 350 still comes with a U tap, right? I think they discontinued it, like, I don't know why. But a lot of Yeezy don't have the Utah. A lot of Yeezy's 350s don't have the Utah anymore. But the sneak is really clean, as you can see. The materials also, it feels a little bit thinner than normally. Uh, maybe, or at least they feel a bit thinner than the Yeezy's that I wear normally. Normally I wear the, the clays, the black ones, the triple black and the, the Beluga 2.0. Those are the three fifties I wear uh, on right, rotation basis, and but also with when I do some other unboxings, it doesn't. It feels a little bit different than yeah. This part, I think they made this one out of uh, different materials. So this part, it feels thinner than normally, and also over here, this part feels. A little Yes, this part feels thinner, so you can see it better on the inside, and over here it feels thicker. So um, I don't know if it's if it's bad for your sneakers to wear them in the rain and if you will get wet socks. I don't know, but something that I notice about the sneaker. But otherwise. Um, these would have been mad by it too if these would glow up in the dark. I'm sure, yeah, they don't do it, but if they would do it, they these would be mad by it too. But it's a dope uh, colorway. It's a nice one to have, have in your closet. Um, so you see the 350, that surprised me. Like I wasn't hyped about it, but when I saw them on feet and now that I have them in that, I'm like, it is a nice one to have. But the thing is, the 350s, okay, Kanye stopped for a couple of months. I don't know why he stopped, maybe it was because of the corona, but I don't know how many 350s he released already this year and how many he will release this, the rest of the year and even next year. So it is almost impossible to have all of them now these days like you can all you can do it if you have the money for it but then you have like i think at least 30 pairs of pieces the same model just different colors sometimes the colors are a little bit different like uh the triple black and the cinders like there's no much color variation in it you have the white uh the static and the cloud white, also uh, similar. So, if you haven't, if you don't have a shoe in this colors, color combination, colorway, it's a nice one to have. If you have already a sneaker in this um, color combination, yeah, if you have the money, buy them if you don't have it just go on to the next release but anyway thanks for watching this video i hope to be soon back with another video if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you like this video please leave a like and see you soon with my next video